The second thing we're going to do, which is new, is not new at all either. We did this several years ago for a variety of reasons. We wanted to find out who was a type 1 and who was a type 2. So we measured how much insulin you could produce. So here's what's called the C-peptide. You can look that up online, Google it, and so forth. You'll have no problems with that. To understand it, though, those things seem to have disappeared from the Internet. For many years, we had the ability to uh, look there, and you could see this very good thing. Now, this is one that I put together. Well, if you can see it, okay, that's good. But you start with that A right in the middle. This is a chain that makes insulin in the amino acid in the pancreas, beta cells. Then you see the dotted thing that comes from the uh, part on the A that then circles around and attaches to another uh, solid line, which is the other amino acids that are put together to form the B chain. So we have an A and a B chain. And as you can see, they're separated by uh, two di disulfide bonds. That's more than you care to know, perhaps. But this whole thing I'm looking at is A, C, B is all what's called pro-insulin. And as you secrete insulin, you actually jump that seek peptide off, this connecting peptide off. And you're left with the A and the B, which is actually the active insulin. So that's how insulin is made. That's how it's set free. And that's what we're going to measure, the C peptide. We're not going to measure the insulin because every time you release a C peptide, you're reaching both the A and the B loose as insulin. So that's how we measure it. We are now, as we all know, and I've said a lot, we are making a lot of insulin inside people. It doesn't happen early. It takes some time, uh, but it does happen, and it's happening more. And we'll talk more about that as more and more information becomes public. But it's a time when you can start measuring your insulin. I hope you have some to measure because then it's a lot easier to grow. See you next time.